SU-35 multi-role fighter. Its more powerful engines, designed by the Lurka Saturn Design Bureau, are equipped with the easily controlled rotating nozzles featuring unique design. These nozzles are incorporated into the overall control system of the aircraft, thus enabling to considerably increase its maneuverability. To such a degree so that the aircraft can execute aerobatics maneuvers at the speeds close to zero. Such extreme maneuverability enables the pilots engaged in the air combats not to think about any limits in piloting the aircraft, thus concentrating their entire intention exclusively on the combat situation. Here you see how it goes. It's an unusual piece of aerobatics, the so-called somersault at 360 degree turn. Please pay attention that the turn is executed without loss of altitude. And that is the so-called double somersault at 720 degree turn. And at all stages of the turn, the engines work just perfectly. Although at, at 180 and 540 degree roll, the aircraft flies tail forward. Another maneuver called Cobra Roll, as U-35 makes Cobra first, then performs the right turn accelerated by the maximum thrust of the left engine. Accelerated turn, as U-35 gains altitude, performs half roll, then steep turn, and the aircraft already flies the opposite direction. Vertical turn, the aircraft gains altitude. The speed drops just as if it makes the tail slide and then goes the turn with extremely small radius. SU-30MK, the new Sukhoi fighter, features even higher maneuverability. The fighter is provided with horizontal four planes, and engines with thrust vectoring nozzles, the axis of which are turned sideward by 30 degrees. The aircraft is also equipped with a new fly-by-wire system. Look how the aircraft performs rotation at high angles of attack. Then it changes to pass, Angle of attack 70 degrees, the speed is 70 kilometers per hour. Another maneuver called accelerated half loop with a 180 degree top point turn in Europe. Such ability to maneuver enables these aircraft to radically change the tactics of air combat and thus achieve a substantial superiority which has been repeatedly confirmed in various simulated air combats. The pilots try to assume the more advantageous position for attack. A pilot in SU-35 performs a maneuver and the simulated enemy aircraft appears on the wide-angle attack display. You can see it on the screen. One, two, three, four seconds. Enough time to lock on and successfully attack the enemy. Another simulation of close combat in which a SU-35 pilot manages to change flight direction and go onto the offensive.